Today I'm gonna put all of this in here. Here I go. stuff is a mess. We meet again. Before I put this first sheet up here, I have to figure out how long this is. I know it's shorter than eight feet. 93 and three eighths is exact, so 93 and a quarter. Luckily I have a scrap piece from the garage project that's long and skinny and it's a full eight foot. So I'm gonna use that one, cut it at 93 and a quarter, bring it up here to see how that fits in there kind of check it along here before I cut my full sheets. It's 93 and a quarter. Let's see how it fits up there. That looks pretty good. It's a little bit short. Slide down a little bit. So 93 and a quarter is good there. It's about the same. A little bit tighter there. More. Okay. Uh, okay, 93 and a quarter it is. This is gonna be interesting. more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I think this next one's not gonna be as bad because I think I got a technique figured out, but still this is <laughs> very difficult to do by yourself. Definitely would be easier with two people, but um, I think I can do it. It's just gonna take longer than I thought for sure. But I got this one up there tight and it's straight on the rafters and I measured it out and I think it's all gonna work out, but yeah, that was tough.
like that hole lined up pretty well. Holes like that always make me nervous because you only get one shot. You gotta make a notch around that pipe for those lights and then another hole over there. And that's it. everybody it's Tuesday so that means tacos I got some cheesy ground beef some avocado lettuce and Tabasco on top that's what I'm fueling myself after putting up the initial sheets of drywall over here I got three done and I could finally turn those lights on again these propane lights are like having a controlled fire right there so they produce a lot of heat directly above them. So I was really afraid of that craft paper that's on that fiberglass insulation. I was afraid that was gonna get too warm and catch on fire. So um, should be okay now. I've had these on for a while, just kind of monitoring it. It's, uh, I think it's safe now. So let's taste test this taco. Oh yeah, that passes. on every project that I work on I get to a certain stage towards the end and I tell myself oh nice I made it to the easy part now it's just gonna be nice and easy all downhill from here so I start putting these up and I'm thinking oh it's just straight cuts this is gonna be super simple boom 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 you put these sheets up and you'll be done <laughs> and I forgot I have to cut out for these electrical outlet boxes and so that is difficult you gotta measure over measure down make your marks make a hole here you know it's not it's not that hard but it's tedious and <sighs> it's not it's never easy until it's completely done uh, that's just how it goes
angle cuts are always terrifying because you only get one shot, pretty much, unless you cut it too long, then you can cut it again, but it's too short, you're screwed. So that's why I measure like four times before I make these cuts. folks this is looking more and more like a finished product it's really taken me a long time but I'm trying to take my time and make it look good so to finish things up here I'm actually gonna take these pieces right here down these were long skinny scrap pieces and I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough sheets so I used those scraps right there but it looks like I am gonna have enough so I'm gonna take those off and use because it has a seam right here I don't like that when I have the material to not have a seam right there. So I'm going to fix that and then fill these gaps here and then I'll be done hanging the sheetrock. just got back from my morning run and in order to finish up this phase of the project I just need to clean this room up now <laughs> sweep and vacuum and uh, put in screws in uh, all the areas that don't have any yet that need it All right, well, I guess the next step in finishing this project would be to tape and texture, which I have never done before in my life. In fact, I've never hung this amount of sheetrock ever before, like an entire room like this. I am scared of tape and texture because <laughs> I like to do things right and I obviously want this room to look nice when it's done. And so I'm very, scared because I don't know how good of a job I can do because I've never done it before. So we'll see. I don't know. I might end up just like trimming around these windows and around that door. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm going to finish this. I do know that I have purchased some flooring here. So I'm definitely going to put flooring in and I'm going to wire these outlets and those lights right there. That is going to be a for sure thing. So the next video might be me taping and texturing this drywall, or it might be uh, putting in the floor and just putting some trim around this and putting this furniture back and calling it good for now. Uh, you'll have to wait and find out. Thanks for watching this video and my other videos, really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.